Hi and welcome to All Things Styled by Pam. Yes, you are looking at a dark hallway, okay? That is because I'm gonna get ready to walk into my room, which I named my blue room, but I'm not sure it's gonna be called blue room anymore. It's the same paint color, and it looked at it blue with a gray undertone, but now it, it's still blue, but with a grayer undertone to it. So let's walk into, and that's the artwork that was hanging on my wall. And are you ready to see it? Are you ready? I've been working on this room since Thursday and I just finished it. So I wanted to go ahead and film it right quick, but I wanted to give you some details right quick. So this is the wall that I just finished. I got the wall molding from Lowe's as well as, okay, the, the, the long strips that are going down are from Lowe's, but the inside of the boxes, I put wall molding as well. And it is from Lowe's as well. My room is a hot mess. Do so you want to see it? Look. <laughs> I got everything everywhere, including the paint. Now, this wall, let me tell you, it looks more gray on camera. And, but it still is blue with a, like I said, with a gray undertone to it. I didn't go all the way to the ceiling, um, just in case I'm going to add a uh, crown molding to it, like I did in my office. Now, in my office, I have four boxes at the top and four at the bottom. This one, I have three at the top and four at the bottom. And yes, I did hit my outlet with paint. And you can see all my tools up here that I do have. Everything that you see up there, except for my rail buy, is from Home Depot. But everything else up here is from, uh, from Lowe's. And let me show you the paint color. And let me show you what I use to paint with. And the lady at um, Sherman Williams, the paint store, she gave me this uh, perfect, because every time I painted with um, a darker color, it had streaks on the wall. You don't see no streaks on the wall. And this is with one coat okay well the wall was already painted but i only painted one coat inside of the boxes you can't see one nail hole that was up here your girl she she did that she did that so this is the paint that and you can see the color right there you can see that it's blue but it does have a great undertone to it, as you can see. And this is the paint that I used. It Again, it is from Lowe's and it's called Evening Eclipse. And I'm showing the picture of the, um, the barcode. Just in case you want to get this color, you can just stop the video and take a uh, photo of the... Um, of the of the barcode right there so this is the brand that i use and i am loving this brand that's why i was specific on getting this brand it is from lowe's and it's called infinity and it's, it's still by sherman williams and it is in the satin color it kind of looks matte but that is the reason why I wanted the satin, uh, because it I didn't want matte, but I wanted the satin so that way I can still wipe off the walls if I need to. Now, let me explain something about this color. When you use this color, you can't use it as a touch-up paint. You have to wind up, which I have learned really with a lot of paints, that you have to paint the whole wall. Because if you do, I tried to do that and it just did not come out right at all. Well, then it's not that it didn't come out right, it's just that you can see where I touched up the wall. 
okay? I, the same process as I explained in my video when I did my office, I did the exact same thing to this wall. Now, I can't remember the... Um, the uh the measurements for the uh for the boards that i used um but i did have it in my office uh video the board two boards that i used okay only a different board was used on the end right there the same boards we used going across coming down and on the uh on the bottom and you can see a line right there and i tried really hard not to let that line be shown but if you look you really cannot see it that good but you can see an essence of it and i'm okay with that because i really try to hide the um the lines but this time instead of cutting the board right here i just use one long piece right here to do this uh to do this wall and inside the uh boxes you can see the molding uh because you can see the ridges and my finger is so ashy right now you can see the molding that i did put inside the boxes now let me explain something when you use this kind uh, when you use darker paints the lady um at sherman williams told me to use this right here is called Purdy Marathon, and these are uh, nine inches. I, I think they're at a. It's it's something about the thickness, half inch, maybe the thickness. And these, when I say, are thick. They are. If you can see right here, they are thick. And I never thought to use these kind of brushes right here let me take one out i never thought to use that kind of brush um well to 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 put on to to use the paint with on the wall and let me tell you let me tell you i won't go back to any other kind of brush to paint with ever again because these brushes right here when i say they are tremendous. And this was, even though the wall was already painted, I put on one coat. It did the trick. It's the paint. Okay? It's the paint. And I just had to come on here because I was supposed to be doing Christmas stuff. But I wanted to do this wall. Uh, I, I just had to. And you can see one nail hole that is in this wall. Not one. And I did accidentally hit the ceiling. So, guess what, Pam? You see right there? Pam is going to be painting the ceiling. <laughs> but not right now. But it came out so beautiful that I had to get on here just to show you, um, show you the wall and... I really worked on this wall because you cannot see one nail hole in the wall. It was right here, okay? Can you see it? No, you can't. So, I really wanted to come on here just to show you. Now, I've got to clean up this room. I wiped down behind the sofa, but now I got to clean up because, look... Everything is dusted. You see my car. You see my coffee table <laughs> because of all the sanding that I did, and it's gonna go perfectly with my uh, 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 tan color sofa and what I have in here already. So yeah, I just need to clean up. But I wanted to come on here just to show you guys what I did and. I can't help but to keep scrolling up. I did a really good job. And I think I did it better in here than I did in my office. So, the second time was the best time. And I just wanted to show you guys. And I did have... Um, I did cover my sofas and everything like that. And you can see the dust that is on there. And I picked this up from um, Lowe's as well. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys um, what I just did. And if you use these rollers right here, 
uh, paint roller, uh, paint brushes right here. It's going to be kind of heavy on that. It is because of the thickness of this, but it was well worth it because look at what I got from using that roller brush. So my name is Pam. Okay, you can join me on my Instagram at Diamond2872. I will be happy to have you over there. And I will talk to you guys in another video. I'm Ty, and now <laughs> I got to try to put this, this room back together. Bye, guys. And let me know what you think in the comments below.